Hey everybody. What time is it? It is 1.33. I just got up about an hour ago. I'm so, so tired. So I'm still in bed right now. My cat's keeping me company. Hey kitty kitty. Hey everybody. Just got up about a, a couple hours ago, or maybe even longer than that. I'm gonna try to make a run to the thrift store. Get out and move around a little bit. So, Here's yeah. Schlipping. This is my schlipping outfit. These are waterproof shoes. Yeah, looking great. I really, really want to fix the bed because look, it's so messy, but then how can I? What a cruel thing I should have to do to this poor kitty kitty. He looks so comfy. I love you, kitty kitty. Yay! We have a Maggie as a pooper. She finally pooped mm -hmm. after a whole so, day. So I have this table here. So her royal highness has feet. She, cause like it's too low there and she might fall. So I had to set up, set something up for her, for her royal highness. As long as she's comfortable and able to see properly and not fall, that's that's all I that's my aim. That's all we care about. Yeah, just making sure that our cat and our dog are happy. And it looks like she's pretty happy right now. And of course, I have no room, as you can see. I got like that much. See. And show show them the chair that's completely open for Maggie. Yeah, and then here, look at this chair that's nice and ready to go. But no, no, she has to crowd me. Until you go sit over there and then she'll want to get over there. Probably. So I got, I wanted to show you some things that I bought past couple of days at the thrift store. Can you believe it? I got this. It's a chandelier. It's a plug-in. I'll try to take some pictures so you can get a better view of it. But um, it's beautiful. Um, it's a plug-in, so that means it's a little bit older, I think. I'm not sure. Who knows? It might be from Home Depot. Um, but I can't believe it. I got it for, it was $18. I got 10% off because I get 10% off because uh, military. So, yeah, this is the way, um, this is what it looks like, the plug-in part. And then, what else was the thing that I got? The other thing I was kind of psyched about is I finally got one of these guys. An etager, which I believe is French for over the toilet shelving, but it just sounds fancier that I way. also got these wax beads off of Instagram, so I'm going to give that a shot, see how that goes. I got these Victoria's Secret pajama bottoms, size medium. They're so soft. Because Lydia does this with the, her pajamas. I'm going to show you my pajamas of the evening. Victoria's Secret I've had for a million years. I already showed you these. These. How cute are they? Got these from Walgreens. And they're just... They're just everything I would want. So... Pajamas of the evening. Okay, guys, I just got out of the shower, and I had to share this with you. So, I don't know if you remember, but I had gotten the hand, uh, not hand, well, I got the hand lotion, and then I got the body lotion, and then I got this Body Shop um, butter in British Rose. If you love Rose, you'll love this. It smells so good. It's really rich. You just take a little bit at a time. A little bit goes a long way. Now today I was feeling like my skin, I've been wearing more makeup and whenever I wear makeup, no matter what I do, I always break out a little bit. So something that I like to do that I highly recommend is taking evening primrose oil. It's good for people who have chronic illness anyway, who have deal with inflammation. It helps with inflammation, but it always, it also helped me with clearing up my skin. It was really good stuff. And in fact, whenever I get a cold sore, I will use um, evening primrose oil. I'll double up or triple up on it and it deals with it immediately along with the Carmex. But anyway, so 
So I was going a little hard today with the exfoliation because especially with my face, just felt like, you know, the poofs, the, the sponge gels that I was using wasn't really getting the job done. So, I mean, I would probably use that once in a while, but I'll never replace using a washcloth with Dove soap, liquid soap, and just kind of really exfoliating and getting in there. I wouldn't recommend doing it every day. Depends, you know, play it by ear how it works for you. But what I do do, because my skin is so sensitive, is I always douse, always have like my, my oil, as you see there. I always have that, I douse my face and my body in it. It was a uh, vitamin E, but baby oil, anything will do. After, uh, once I'm out of the shower, I let it rinse off. And then, um, and then I just put this on um, my face, basically around my nose, lower area of my face, but I actually put it all over, but I concentrated on that because I get red and sensitive and that's what I gotta do, so. Also, I just have to tell you, there's this really great conditioner called, it's by Brio Gio. It's awesome. I love it. Um, Tati recommended it. I tried it. I love it. But it's expensive. So a good alternative is this. I would definitely try this. There's also corresponding shampoo. That's awesome. But this is it. This is the winner. This, this will really moisturize your hair. And look, it fades, it prevents fading, and so that's always good for color. So, yeah.